Yo, what's good everyone? Thanks for watching this Jordan 1 Bape Custom video. Without wasting anyone's time, let's get started. Here are the materials I'll be using. Acetone to strip the paint, cotton balls, masking and clear tape, Krylon matte finish, Angelus Fire Red, Red, Autumn Red, and Pink Paint. The paint was provided by Tragic1993. Shout out to you, Tragic. Soul Shields from Rejuvenator, Exacto Knife, Paint Brushes, three printed out Babe Camo papers that I got on Google Images. And the base of this sneaker is the Jordan Yin Yang Ones. I start by using acetone and cotton balls to prep the sneakers. For the three printed out babe camo papers that you see, I tried using YouTuber Sophie Soap's method. I tried doing her method, which I'll leave a card above as well and a link below if you want to see the method that she did. At first, I thought her method would work, but unfortunately that wasn't the case, which you'll see me do. I start off by masking the midsoles. The fire red will be the base coat for the sneakers. What I forgot to add was the color pink to the shoe first. Since I didn't add pink first, applying fire red alone will need multiple coats. I realized this when I started to add the color pink first and then applying the color fire red after. This method was so much faster and less time consuming. After applying the fire red base coat to the heel, the toe box, and the collar area, I went ahead and paint the swoosh using the white paint, then the pink paint, and then the fire red. As I mentioned before, Sophie's method didn't work for myself. I started first using masking tape and the Bape Camo cutout. I thought using a pencil as a trace outline would work and then paint it on right after. What I didn't realize was how sloppy and how much more work it was going to take me. After so many attempts of trying to make it look decent, I decided to apply another coat of fire red paint to add a new layer to work with. I was able to get these homemade babe camel stencils from Monica's sister-in-law Hannah. Honestly, without her help and the stencils, I would be stuck. I tried doing the stencils one by one and I noticed it didn't work. I've never used stencils or transfer paper before, so if you're new like me, this is how I did it. Using the transfer paper, I measured how much transfer paper I needed for the stencils. Cut the transfer paper and then apply it to the stencils. The adhesive from the transfer paper will stick to the stencils, making you apply the stencils to the surface of the sneakers. You can see how my first attempt was, you pretty much get one shot at it. I wanted to also overlap the areas that I'm working with just in case. After doing the collar in the Air Jordan logo area, I went ahead and did the swooshes next. Once both the swooshes were done, I started off with the toe box area next. This was a little bit more tricky considering that the lace holder uppers will block you from applying the stencils. Once I was done with the toe box area, I went back and touched up the swooshes, the heel, the collar, and the Air Joiner logo area. Now it's time to work on the other sneaker. Since I didn't plan out how much transfer paper I needed, I actually ended up using some of the leftover stronger transfer paper, which was probably a big mistake. It was 10 times stronger and the stencil did not want to be peeled off and stick to the sneakers. You can see how sloppy and overall that it just doesn't look decent. What I did was remove the stencils off. Then I went and reused the previous transfer paper. Although the transfer paper adhesive wasn't strong, I was able to make it work. At 
After dealing with the transfer paper and heel mess up, I went ahead and did the collars next. After applying the stencils, I realized I made another mistake. I forgot to put the base coat after the stencils were applied. What I decided to do was stick to the same method by painting pink, red, and then autumn. I then applied the camel blobs and bait face to the paint for the base coat. Since I also forgot to paint the base coat on the other side of the collars, I did the same method. This took longer than ever but was probably the most efficient way. After the collars were done, I started to do the toe box area next. I can't explain to you how much of a pain it was to paint this Air Jordan logo. Not only was it a pain to paint, I had to redo it over and over using the pink first and then using the red just to get it right. Now comes the easy part, painting the rest of the shoe black. For the tongue and the inside of the sneakers, I used the black paint and the GAC 900. I used a 50-50 ratio, but pretty much eyeballed it. Next, I went ahead and painted the soles using the base coat fire red. After I was done, I applied sole shields from Rejuvenator. The last step before anything is to apply the Krylon spray paint to the entire shoe. Alright you guys, this shoe took longer than expected and before I say anything else and I get into like the whole conclusion of the shoe, again, the shoes aren't for sale. I'm not taking any requests or any orders or anything like that until I verbally say like I do. Here is the final product. You guys seen it in a b-roll film but I did want to talk about the shoe itself and how the process and everything, how it got started and pretty much who basically inspired me. I want to put that there also that I am not the first person who did a Babe Jordan black and red bread custom. I've seen other people do it but mainly I did see Jay dot the ripper he actually did like a canvas mesh type style first it wasn't actually hand painted but he that he was the first one that i saw did it and the other person was almatic he did one that was hand painted so i can't take all the credit or pretty much whoever else did something very similar to this credit goes to you guys i always like to give credit where credit is due so i'm not the first person who did this i just decided to do it on my own so again shout out to you if you already done this version or this kind of style of custom now you can't start a custom without paint so without the paint i can't really do a custom so shout out to tragic he's the one who provided me the paint to do this custom so tragic if you are watching this i really appreciate it, homie shout out to you and i couldn't really do the camos doing the sophie method again sophie if you are watching this i tried the method and it was actually harder to do on the back panel here and actually on like the air jordan top part and when i actually try to do it on here i'll tell you this it was really hard but shout out to your method it works on more of like a more flat continuous surface very similar to like the swoosh or something like that but i gotta give a shout out to hannah she's the one that did the stencil so again shout out to you guys now there is a couple things i did want to change about the shoe is mainly the shoe tag the nike air on the tongue i don't know if i want to go ahead and put like a babe logo or leave it as it is it does look pretty clean already how it is but i'm still deciding if i do want to change it to something different than a nike air logo on the tongue now the sole shields here's one thing about it i've never used it before and to be honest it's actually a lot harder than it looks to put on compared to videos of seeing people actually do it and I actually want to get Vic's almighty Vic that you guys see in the rejuvenator his soul seal actually put it back on this uh, the soul itself on the paint and then do another soul shield actually on it because the paint is actually already coming off the shoe but this is one thing that I do want to change about it on the soles overall I'm really happy how the shoes turned out 
me being somewhat like a perfectionist doing of like one-on-one -on -one customs i just really want them to look as perfect as possible and man doing the air jordan logo you guys this is just a pain just to do in general and i don't know if you could see it in the video there's some like of the residue from when i did put the matte finish from the krylon spray but otherwise than that i can't really complain i'm really happy how everything turned out if you guys can comment down below what you guys think about this custom whether you dislike it or like it you love the process and everything in general please comment down below it took me really long to do this to present it to you guys if i had to make any other colorway it'd probably be a purple camo colorway because i really love that one a lot i feel that using darker colors in the bape print in general is actually a lot easier to do than doing like a pink red and a fire red in just in general but if i had to change or pick any other colorway it'd probably be the purple one again you guys i really appreciate you guys watching my videos the whole entire custom of it i'll catch you guys in the next video until then you guys you guys have a good day you guys oh, oh, oh wait i can't say this about that video it's gonna be good y'all